Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, welcome back to Christ the Paladis career mode, man. This is episode 12. Today we're going to have a special episode because it's Bears episode. It's back-to-back Bears games. We have one game in the FA Cup, in the FA Community, Community Shield, yes, that's the name. FA Community Shield, and then we have the season opener with Spurs as well. So, what is happening is, today I'm only gonna give you guys two games. That and the season opener. Hopefully, you guys, you're gonna enjoy it. Let's get into our first game, of which is gonna be Community Shield. So, what has been happening in the real world of football? Bale has been told that he's not gonna be used so and Zidane said he might he's gonna leave soon so it seems like the agent of Bale didn't take that kindly because he said some bomb words to Zidane that they don't respect Bale whatever whatever but to be quite honest mm, if the managers makes it clear in the beginning of the season that he's not gonna use you i think that uh, you should consider that uh, a good thing because you should be able to live you should be able to find a club and as for him it's even worse because he doesn't want to take the pay cut to me that makes things worse man it makes things worse if you know that you didn't live up to madrid expectations and you still want your career, your career to grow and you want to get better in the game just take a pay cut go play football elsewhere if you don't want to take a pay cut to me it's more like bail is about money he doesn't like soccer but he he just needs more money because you can just do that and then you you play wherever you go you're gonna play you know that even if they can say they're gonna cut it like with 50 percent take it you don't have a choice same situation with neymar if he wants to go away he's gonna enjoy his football nobody's gonna pay neymar seven hundred thousand euros a week that that's madness neymar is always injured so you just rather buy two players with that than to pay a salary of the, the a wage of that match so as for me i think they need to rethink that and see what exactly they want in their in their career both players because if you have the money you'll go nowhere in football you're gonna go nowhere because it's like bail is gonna end up going to china you go to china goodbye to your career there are so many players that I know went to China and then their career just went missing. Another thing that was interesting this past week, it was the comments of Klopp saying that he's not, um, that was a good shot, but he hit the post. I think it's Ericsson. He hit the post. Yes, it was Ericsson. He hit the post and Spurs is coming back, but we are about to end the game. It's the comment by Klopp. That he said uh, he's not uh, Man City or PSG is not gonna waste 300 million each and every transfer window. That, 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 that was ridiculous to me. That guy doesn't have guts. Like he, he's not the man enough, man. He can't stand his story. Like if you wanna say something, just say something. Don't involve other teams. That's what Pep used to say. I don't talk about other teams. I talk about my team and my players. That's it. 
it goes to penalties and Tavenia scored the first penalty. The first penalty for Spurs is taken by Kane. Oh, which Bartlett save. Bartlett saved it easily. Zayic to take our second penalty. Dead was too high and it hit the post and come out. Second penalty for Spurs. It's going to be taken by the Janssen. Janssen scored. It's 1-1 after two penalties taken. Zaha to take our third penalty. Easy penalty. Brilliant penalty. Ali to take the third penalty for Spurs and he scored. Lasagna to take our fourth penalty. He scored. Easy. Eriksson. He missed. He tries to cheap and he missed. Now the last penalty. If we score this one, it's a win for us. Saved by Kazaniga. Now it's down to Vertonghen versus Buckland. If he miss, they lose. Vertonghen missed. What the hell was he thinking? That was a lame penalty. They lost the game. Buckland saved the last penalty. And he saved Kane penalty. So you saved the penalties of the superstars. Yes, Eriksen missed himself, but they are trusted players it's only Ali who scored and I would I would have loved if you save Ali's penalty that okay back to club story why would you say that and you don't even telling the truth because he was not telling the truth last season Man City didn't spend 300 million the whole season I don't think that they reached 300 million last season this season we spent like a little money they bought van dyke with 75 million and pep Guardiola didn't make that a big issue but club i don't know i think that old man is losing it sometimes he talks too much he talks unnecessary stuff goes to media and just him talks unnecessary stuff if that was Moreno I'm telling you English media will be pressing him but because it's Liverpool's coach they're not gonna press him they will be talking about that if it was Moreno the whole year every time he goes to media they will say that every time he have a press conference that question was gonna come to Moreno but because it's club it's not gonna come that, that's why I say I think English media is so biased. It's so biased, especially with Liverpool. Anything that is embarrassing that is happening at Liverpool, it will never come out. It will never be a big story. Let something happen in Manchester. It's a big story. They will talk about it. They will talk about it. I don't know why, but it's just my opinion. And I'm allowed to raise my opinion, of course, but yeah, that's how it's going. Okay, forget about that. Let's face our game. We bought Vestergaard. Oh my God, son, with a brilliant goal. That was a brilliant goal. We bought Vestergaard. I'm going to show you guys all the transfers that I've made, but so far the notable transfers is Vestergaard. Then it's, um, it's Zayage. Of course, Zayac is notable because he's a big name, man. That was a big transfer. And one Pasaka will be out, of course. I want him out. I don't know if he's going to go to Menu or he's going to go somewhere else, but I want somebody to buy him. Or if nobody's buying him, I'm going to swipe him. I would like to have another player instead of him because even in real life he's gone. Zayat shoots through, Zayat scored! 33 minutes, we finally got the goal to equalize and make it 1 1. I don't know, I'm thinking of changing Zayat's number. 
maybe give him number number 10 if Zaha is 11 I can give him 10 I would have to see who I know number 10 I think was uh, was Townsend so now Townsend is gone so I think I will give it to Zayat Lasagna is through Lasagna with the shot good save Zaha with the header it hit the post and Zaha was offside unfortunately two minutes to go to half time Sissoko Dele Ali wings Dele Ali Ali wide to Felipe Luis Luis back to Ali Ali son son wings wings Sissoko son Ericsson Ericsson so Dana Rose on this side. You know, it's Nelson Samedo. It's half time. It's 1 1. Well, we're up and running again for the second half. No change in the weather, I'm sad to say. The sky is still heavy and the rain still falling. Daniele Vasselli. One reason I had to buy Vesto cut. Okay, and another thing. Last season, his team was relegated. So that was one of the motives that I might get him easy, cheaper, because his team is relegated and he's a big player, of course. So it's a little bit realistic that you can go to the relegated team and get their top performers. So I did with Vestergaard. And one thing that I love about the dude, he's tall, man, is 6.6. .6. Zayat with the shot! Dazaneka with the save. Good corner, Lasagna scored. Lasagna is back. I was thinking of benching him and play Martinez, of which is another new signing, man. He's another new signing this season, but right now, Lasagna is, is an answer to everything, man. And Grudic, we bought Grudic as well for our second season. Of course, he's, he was let go by... He was on loan by Liverpool and then I decided that you know what? Now that he's back, Zaha is through Zaha with the pass! Palacios, brilliant finish. It's 3-1 against Spurs. This time, they have no chance. No more draw. We came from 1-0 down to win the game 3-1. That was brilliant play. Neat play. And the finish by Palacios. Palacios has been good. Right now, Palacios is not even playing as a cam. He's playing in the middle field as a central middle field. But he pushes forward, man. He's always in the box and he recovers back to Mark. His stamina is amazing. His stamina is amazing, man. I think that's the reason why I said he must start. Good cross, but well defended by Fetungan. Another shot by Spurs, but it was missed. Good corner, Kane with the head. I hit the side netting. Referee, please end this game now. They're waiting for Parkland to kick the ball up on the field. Referee, end the game, please. As the game ends, yes, we won it through one. That's true, man. Three one win against Tottenham Hold Spurs in the first game of the league. Good way to start the season. It couldn't be any better than to beat the last year's champions. We beat the last year's champions. So that will be the statement that this season we equaling you spares whatever you do we can do it if we are not doing it better with that thank you so much guys for watching this episode tune in for the next episode of which is gonna be episode 13 second episode of season two i love you all thank you so much with the support to new subscribers i salute you guys thanks bye i love you all